Hello my Scorpios, thank you for clicking on this video. I am here to give you your energetic check-in for the week ahead. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. This is for the sign of Scorpio. If you're interested in booking a reading with me, please, if you're outside of the U.S., head on over to Wizio, W-I-S-I-O dot com. If you are within Canada, please email me, Elsie, at tenacupsparrow.ca, and we'll fix you up with whatever you need. And uh, if you would be so kind as to leave me a thumbs up on a video, if you enjoy the content there, uh, even more than one would be great. <laughs> um, I really uh, am grateful that you're here with me today. All right, let's do this. Let's get this done here. I've already blessed these cards, so we could just go ahead and cut them. We're going to do a nine card draw for you. Let's find out what's going on here, Scorpio. What is going on? We have the Queen of Wands, we have the Knight of Pentacles, and the Chariot. So some fast-moving energy. Someone wants to be successful with taking in um, some sort of a an, uh, some sort of a, an opportunity, I guess. Um, asking someone to maybe start something new with them. Queen of Wands is she's a tough cookie, you know. She knows what she wants. She's very confident. And, uh, yeah, she could say yes, she could say no. All right, so we have uh, the Page of Cups and uh, the Death card at the center of everything. And then we have the Two of Cups. Three more cards, please. There we go. We have the Two of Pentacles, keeping balance. We have Temperance and we have Judgment. Of course we do. Bottom of the deck, we have the Sun. We have, you're liking what you see online. You're watching someone online and you like what you see there. Um, you know, it makes you a little bit nervous, I guess, because, um, well, maybe not necessarily nervous, but you are watching this person for a reason. And I feel it is though um, that you uh, are um, keeping an eye on them, essentially, uh, seeing what they're up to. There's lots of stuff on Facebook, Instagram, you know. Um, the Wheel of Fortune is about um, quick changes, nine of wands. You know, you're, you're tired of the same old, same old, getting your heart broken, and it's time for things to change. So, let's go do some clarification here. It's time to make a change in your life, Scorpio. I think it's going to be... Um, a good change. I think you've been needing this change for a while, and um, I feel as though, yeah, that there that you have um, probably manifested this change. Queen of Wands. Tell me about the Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands is um, two of Pentacles. So someone who's very balanced. I mean, you could Scorpio have fire in your chart, right? This is um, Leo, uh, Sagittarius, and uh, Aries. So I feel like things are, you know, kind of balanced. You have put down your your burdens. They're too heavy to carry. You finally put them down, um, and that's what the Queen of Wands would do. She's like, I don't need this stuff. I want to be balanced. I feel like there's some quick changes coming up for you though, because we do have the the Wheel of Fortune now those things are, are going to be a, a fortunate circumstance, right? So I feel like um, there's going to be some quick changes, some gifts coming your way. I feel like it's, you know, the Wheel of Fortune to me is like winning the lottery. You never know what you're going to get, but it's all going to be good. I think there's also an opportunity here coming up, and I see this opportunity right here. So it could be an opportunity for love. I see the Knight of Pentacles uh, bringing in some information. Um this person has been waiting a while. They've been waiting a while watching um, watching you and waiting and wondering when you're going to be available. Um, if you are someone who is, um, you know, on Facebook and Instagram, someone who um, does... Um, Someone who is very active on those applications, it's easy for someone to look at you there and find out what you're doing. So I have a feeling someone's watching you there. Um, I have a feeling they've been waiting for a long time to tell you how much they love you. And they've been sort of just waiting in the background to have a new start with you. Um, I feel like they, when they do approach you, Scorpio, it's going to happen fast. It's going to be quick moving energy. I feel like the person um, that 
uh, is looking at you online. That person is very strong. They have a lot of inner strength. They have a lot of outer strength as well. So their body's going to be in very good shape. Um, and uh, I feel like if it's a woman that she's beautiful and voluptuous. And if it's a man, he's really handsome, very tall. Um, and uh, the chariot I feel is, is this, this fast moving energy is successful. It is success coming in this chariot. But I feel as though um, that you know, all of all of these things happening that they might be happening too quick because I feel like your heart's broken for some reason. Um, I feel like there has been something that has gone on that is um, played on your mind and, you know, consequentially made you feel like your heart's breaking. Okay, there is an ending here. Um, it was an ending, a quick ending, and I think that um, the, uh, that it actually was your, um, wish fulfillment that this this whole thing come to an end here interesting so um i think that you're free you're free to do whatever you want you're free to start something new but i don't know that that's what you want um i feel like your heart's broken and that you need some time to heal the page of cups is here and the page of cups can be about um uh an apology it can also be about um hey want to get together and let's let's make things right and have some kids um I feel like uh, whoever is walking toward you has ended something recently and um, they have sort of been cut off from everyone around them. Now, I feel like your person is really searching out their spiritual side. I feel like whoever this is that it has been watching you online, that they've really been meditating, manifesting. I feel like they've been in prayer, um, whatever it is, whoever is their source. Um, but the Six of Wands tells me that they're pretty confident that if they come forward to you and tell you that, you know, they're sorry they haven't seen you in quite some time, that um, you are going to let them back into your life, that they're going to have success. And thing is, you have a few words for them before anything moves on from here. This, I feel like, is the, um, the end of you um, letting people walk all over you. It's the end of you... <laughs> I just heard that, but I'm not going to say it. Um, it's the end of you really giving any fill in the blank. <laughs> really giving a crap. It's the end of that. Because you love you. And with this transformation here, I feel like you've realized that you really don't need anyone. That really what you need is to be in love with you. To make sure you're healthy mentally, physically. And um, I feel like with this transformation, you feel as though... Um, you know, people are seeing you as this Queen of Wands. They are seeing you as confident and beautiful and voluptuous and, you know, or handsome. And they are seeing you as someone who does take charge, um, someone who takes really good care of their body. And um, the uh, Eight of Swords and the Seven of Wands tells me that they feel as though you're not really all that approachable anyway. That they know if they come to you and they ask if you'll date them or go out with them or whatever it is, that you're probably going to say no. Um, that you have something to do because I feel like you have lots of family and friends that you are um, in touch with. And I feel like you have a pretty tight schedule when it comes to social things. So I feel like you um, are loving yourself and uh, I feel like you're still healing from something that happened in the past, but I think it's a long time ago. I feel like you were deceived, that there was something going on that you didn't know that was in the background. And um, I feel like it really ended up being catastrophic, like a loss in love, a loss in money, a loss in home. And I felt like you think, I'm never doing that to myself again. I'm going to love myself so hard that I'm going to make sure that that never happens again. Um, Two of Cups here tells me that there is some love here, that there is someone watching you and vying for you as they see you online. Page of Wands tells me that you you are ready to take a different path if you want. You're ready for some good news. And um, I feel like you want to um, entertain the thought of maybe um, going out with someone as long as they're not going to interfere with how you feel about yourself right now. You're not going to give that power away to anyone else. Two of Pentacles, um, clarified by the Queen of Pentacles, tells me that you are very concerned about how you make money, making a lot of money, putting a lot of money away. You really want to be prepared for your old age, um, that you are very much about saving your money, you're financially stable, and uh, I feel like whenever you do give away money, that you give it away in charitable 
charitable ways. So you do help people who have less than you. And um, I think that people see that. And I think that when people see that, they really think, wow, that is someone that I want to be married to. Um, the Knight of Wands comes in for passion, usually one night, and you're not interested in that. You love yourself too much to do that to yourself, right? So um, you won't do that. But I feel like you're open to having a soulmate and uh, living a beautiful life with a soulmate. Um, and you've been thinking about that lately. I feel like you're single currently. The temperance is telling me that you're no longer um, losing sleep at night. You, you no longer are feeling exhausted from um, the way that uh, you were treated in the past by this situation here. Um, I feel as though you feel that it will happen again, though, if you're not careful. And so you've been waiting on whether or not you want to be in a relationship. I feel like you're too in balance right here. I'm not going to say too in balance, but you know what I mean? You're very in balance here and you don't want anything to come in and shake your balance. Scorpio, I get you so much. I get you so much with, with those few words that you just love your balance and you don't want anyone coming in screwing that up for you. Um, Five of Pentacles tells me that, you know, some people might say, oh, poor Scorpio. Scorpio's left on the outside looking in, you know. Um, Scorpio is, is you know, someone that people don't, you know, she, she or he must be very, very lonely and bored. But the truth is you're not. <laughs> um, truth is that um, you are fine. You're doing well. You get lots of communication. Um, I think you are also watching someone else online. Um, and then we have this judgment card here. Now, the 21st of, of February was the first or was the last day of Mercury retrograde. But you know that we still feel it about a week out, right? So we're looking at uh, judgment here. And um, I feel like someone approached you that was from your past, maybe coming to your present, tried to date you. You said no. Um, that person you realized is someone who's a serial dater or a serial marriage person. They, you know, get out of relationships and get into relationships really quickly. And that you heard that this person is already in a relationship. I feel like the third party tells me that. Um, and you're, you're like, no way with the death card. Forget it. I am in balance. I am me. I love me. I have hopes, dreams. Uh, and things to take care of in this life, and none of them are about you. Eight of Pentacles tells me, yeah, you're tight. You're tight in the whole Eight of Pentacles, the... Um how can I say the um, um, taking care of yourself, self mastery, right? Um, someone, you know, people are constantly telling you how well you look, how great you look, that you look really happy. And that's because you're, you're in the Empress energy now. So um, what, what is the Empress energy? The Empress energy is all of all of all four queens. So you have the um, the uh, knowledge of all four queens and um, they see you as someone very powerful, someone very, um, oops, I should move these up, someone who's very powerful within themselves, someone who always speaks their truth, someone who's not afraid to speak their truth and um, they see you as someone who is very romantic and lovely. They also see you as someone who has just gone through a hard time. Let's take a look at that tower here. about this tower please what kind of tower do we have here for scorp pardon me scorpio sun moon rising venus and jupiter what kind of tower do we have here please clarify the tower this is an instant change right something changes on a dime and it might have been or might be in something to do with love uh, because we're next to the Queen of Cups here, or maybe you saw this coming, because you are the intuitive one, right? You Maybe you saw this tower coming. We have um, the Four of um, Pentacles, which tells me you're pulling energy away, um, that you're, you're blocking your energy, and that you have been in dreams connecting with someone who is not kind to you. And um, I feel like you're also um, dreaming about your... Um, your soulmate, that one day that you will have a soulmate. I think that you are, this tower I think is a good tower. It's a tower that kind of shakes you out of this mode of um, self-realization, self, 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 self. That's what I'm hearing over, over, over again. Because 
it is good to have self-love. It's good to make sure you take care of yourself. It's good for all of that. But there is a point at which um, that you care so much about the self that you don't think about anything else other than the self. And um, if, you know, there, there are certain things that we have to learn going through certain stages. And if the only thing you learn is how to take care of you, then you're missing out on a lot of lessons, right? A lot of lessons that need to be... Um, explain need to be told here main female message of concern so you may have got a message from someone so maybe someone said to you you know what if you don't get married and have children you're gonna have a shorter life i wouldn't believe it if i were you there is a marriage card there um expectations and pathway Move that up there so you can see it. Expectations and pathway. So you know what your path is. You know where you're going, Scorpio. You don't need anybody to tell you what what's going on with your life. You really um, know who you are. You know your path. And, um, oh, we got some courtship here. Privileged lady in a house. So for, for anyone who's watching that... Um, maybe is a male or favors their male energy. Um, it looks like there's a privileged lady in a house here. So something is about to change. Now, don't forget that we did have, we've got family room. Um, don't forget that we did have the uh, Wheel of Fortune. So absolutely, something is going to um, change quickly. Let me just get these angel cards here and let's look at some more advice here from Spirit. Advice for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, please. Be assertive. Whatever it is that you want, however you're living your life, make sure that you remain positive, that you're assertive. It says here you don't need to worry, but look for a sign. Make sure that you're looking for signs. That could be numbers. That could be letter patterns. Um, that could be something someone says to you or does for you. The situation will improve. If it needs improvement, it is coming. Uh, don't stop and big happy changes. So there is the... Um, um, the Wheel of Fortune, right? Big happy changes are coming. So there are changes coming. We don't know what they are. You can't see them in the dark. You're going to have to choose something and you will do it because you're the queen. Oh, it could be about someone asking for your hand in marriage who's been waiting for a while, um, wanting to um, take your hand in marriage. So it could be uh, that someone comes to you and asks you to marry them. All right, Scorpio, that's all I have for you. Thank you very much for coming and watching and clicking here. I would appreciate your thumbs up. And uh, I will see you next week. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.